See, Sugiyama won the battle, but lost the war in that game. She ran down some great balls to get it to 30 all, but she was tired on the next two points. Even just going for that return of, of, of Monica's serve, uh, as we're looking at Mike Sell, her coach. She was going for broke because she was too tired to play the point. See, there's another error. Sometimes you win that one point and then you're tired for the next four. Losing that first set only strengthened Monica Seles' resolve. She's won 10 of the last 13 games now. Well, the third set looked a lot tighter. It was two all, both both players holding serve comfortably, and then Monica just stepped it up a notch. And uh, Sugiyama unable to cope. She just started hitting the ball harder and deeper, pushing Sugiyama on her heels. Sugiyama wins it, but what I'm looking for here is how she recovers for the next point. This is a great back end down the line off the cross court, changing the direction of the ball. Look how low she stays through the ball. Textbook, but can she keep it up? See? And I practiced with Sugiyama last week in Eastbourne. We just played points out of the hand and uh, just playing, 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 playing. And I was getting a little winded, but not too bad. And my uh, trainer, Giselle Tirado, thought that Sugiyama was getting more winded than me. So you're the one who's causing this, uh, this loss. No, it just means after a tough point, she's not able to recover. Right. Things looking very good for Monica Sellis now. She should be off the court fairly soon. Playing since that first set. Nice little mop-up job there. Well, that shows you that second set. Sugiyama only had three and four steros, but lost the set 6-1. So Monica just completely dominating her. And Sugiyama likes a target for Monica Sellis to successfully come to the net. She has to have her on the run. This ball just sitting there waiting to be hit. So again, it's very good with the angles. <laughs> Salas does not want a sloppy game here. Just to finish the match off in style. She knows she didn't move for that last shot. Trying to get her feet going. Again, Sugiyama getting on the offensive off the return of serve deep right at Monica Celes' feet. And that's the hard ball to get out of the way of. And boy, that looked like a tired service game for Monica Celes. She hadn't been broken since 3 all in the first. Maybe it took the stretch out of both of them. Shouldn't have taken that much starch, but really, Sugiyama played a good game. Forced the errors. They were not unforced errors, but that, but Monica did look a little bit uh, slow getting out of the way of the ball. When you re when you finish your serve and then the ball comes right at you, it, it's it's hard one to move for because you, you don't have a definite target where you should go, and it's easy to get handcuffed on that particular shot. Happened twice in the game. Sugiyama here taking it to Monica Salas. She's saying, I'm not finished yet. It's easy. Stay out here a little bit longer.
great length on that one. Both points, um, Salas drawing the error from Sugiyama with her depth. And in contrast to the match next door on court one, I mean on center with Henman, this match only hour and 32 minutes long. And we're at 5-3, 30-15 in the third. It's been a fast match. both of the players. Some shoot him a bang bang rallies from the baseline. And again, Sugiyama really hitting the backhand beautifully, staying through the ball. And so that's a little slow getting to that ball. to serve this out and find your way into the second week of Wimbledon. But Aisugiyama suddenly came alive, winning eight of the last 10 points. Four of them were those beautiful backhand winners. <laughs> so is still not ready for that second shot after her serve. She needs to get on her toes more. This side better for her to serve from, a little bit with the wind. It's good for the lefty to be serving from there. Although it doesn't seem to have been that windy today so far. It was gusty this morning, but it's died down quite a bit. Ninth time Monica Sellis has tried to win Wimbledon. The closest she ever got was the final against Steffi Groff. Ten years ago, 1992. Oh, many players would kill for a 76% winning rate at Wimbledon, but for Monica, that's not good enough. Great serve. Two match points. And she should go here with her favorite serve, which is down the middle, slider. Away from Sugiyama's backhand. Two rounds combined. <laughs> but she's in week two of Wimbledon. 